Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Terraria Let's Play. This is episode 9, I think. We are actually moving along very nicely. Uh, so we left off last episode with some building over on the right side here. Uh, and we actually have done quite a bit more, because when it's in the middle of the week like this, uh, I definitely want to get on and play, but I wanted to maybe just listen to a podcast or a stream or something uh, and get some work done. So we actually did do some of that. Uh, I'm going to come over and we'll just go real slow here. I made a little wagon on our road, or attempted to. It's been a little tricky here. We'll, we'll get rid of Abigail for now. Uh, a little wagon to be on the road for our area. We've added some more trees. Um, I did go fishing just to get some crates to put down as decoration. We've got our wonderful scarecrow that we made last episode. Uh, I did put in a kind of watchtower here because of our goblin army invasion. I figured it would be a cool idea to have uh, a little bit of a um, lookout post for our homestead. Uh, I've also extended out to the right here. We've got a little sign. I haven't put anything on these yet, but we will be adding some more immersion stuff to those. And then I built a warehouse. Uh, I really like how this turned out. Uh, we've got quite a bit of storage, but more importantly, we have our heavy workbench, we have our sawmill, and then I just put in a uh, wooden dresser here just to make it look like a, a workbench. But we've got uh, a nice place to actually do some um, decoration building crafting stuff over here. Uh, and I figured it would be a good idea to have it be next to our kind of field out here. We have had some NPCs move in. Uh, I didn't actually want them to, but they did when I went off screen anyways. So we've kind of reshuffled some stuff around. We've got Jimmy the Angler up here, and we've done a couple of fishing quests with him. Uh, we haven't really gotten anything good except for the weather radio, which tells us what the weather's like outside. And then we've got the... Uh, well, we've moved the zoologist down here, but we also got for a new NPC, the Dryad, which I'm very, very happy about. This is my probably favorite NPC. I think I mentioned that before. So we've got some wonderful things to uh, kind of decorate with. We've got the purification powder. I might use some of that on the left side of our map because we've got the, the corruption coming in over here. Um, and then we've got the uh, planter boxes, which I will definitely be using. Um, I was really hoping to use the pumpkin seeds to decorate our farming area, and I had planted some, but I forgot that when they actually reach full growth, they kind of pop off the ground and you have to collect them or they'll just disappear. So they don't stay there permanently. So Terraria folks, if you are hearing this, I know you guys are updating your game again, but I would personally love... Uh, some crops or things that you could maybe put out in a nature area. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, even maybe some domesticated animals other than just cats and dogs. That would also be a cool idea. Um, let's see. I think one thing that we're going to do... Um, we've been zoomed in here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to get a better view of all of the things that we've done in our area. I really like having all the trees around. I like our warehouse. Um, I don't think I'm going to build any more houses out on this side. I think we will reserve this big flat area maybe for a uh, for an arena to fight some bosses in. That might be the way we go with this side. But as we come down this way, we got a really nice kind of town feeling and I, I definitely like how it's all come together we have a little bit of room on the left side of spawn that we can extend some houses out to we might be putting up kind of a wall or something over here where we can kind of deal with all of our uh, corruption on this side 
but for now we'll probably start maybe building in other biomes to get our NPCs spread out a little more than they are now. Uh, I'm not sure what all we're going to get up to this episode, uh, considering we are just sharing progress right now, but um, I will cut to the next little bit for what we're going to cover there. Buddy, I know you're the golfer, but you are so far stuck down in the sand trap that uh, you might want to look for a different career. What do you got here for sale? A oh, lawnmower? Uh, mowed grass reduces enemy spawn chance? Mows pure and hallowed grass. Interesting. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm down here exploring in the desert just to try and get some uh, items uh, and see what we can do. But found this guy wandering around and had to uh, just comment on the fact that he is like so far in the desert it's ridiculous. Hey, we found the best NPC ever. At least uh, utility wise. The Goblin Tinkerer. So I've gone in, I bought the rocket boots, I bought the tool belt, and I bought the Tinkerer's Workshop. Um, and yes, we are exploring down in the jungle, just because I'm trying to get some more loot here. And we actually have gotten the Anklet of the Wind and the Quick Flower Boots. So um, we are doing really good down here. Uh, we just have to get back to building for all of the NPCs that are just waiting to move into our town. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to get to a point where uh, we don't have people still pending uh, a house. But we'll see. We might uh, get there eventually. Depends on how long we're able to keep this uh, series going. But for now, I'm going to get back to looting and having inventory problems as usual. I will see you guys soon. And we're back. I have a little bit of time here uh, to go through and do some playing and I've got some laundry in before work but I figured I would do some fishing quests or some other stuff on Terraria while I was waiting. We just did uh, a fishing quest and I got a fuzzy carrot as a reward here. Um, and if we go outside, boom, <laughs> we have a bunny mount that we can now use to kind of get around a little better, I guess. Uh, it's kind of difficult because as you can see, we can't really jump up too high, but we can always just you know dismount and uh, go that way. Um, the other thing that we picked up, uh, the zoologist, looks like she's actually got a dog license here. So I definitely want to uh, do that. Sorry, I had my alarm going off on my phone. Um, but we've got a dog license here, so we're going to use that. Because the license teleports away to the dog delivery service. So we should have a dog here shortly. Uh, I'm going to deposit all of this stuff. Because I do have an idea of something that I want to do this morning. We are going to go grab some of our... Uh, I think they're gravitation potions uh, and we're gonna try and find some sky islands here really quick uh, I know we already have the horseshoe which is very nice but we are going to um, go up and try and find a balloon so that we can start combining stuff so we've drank our potion I'm gonna actually just try and map a little bit above my base more than anything for right now because we have so many different uh, gravitation potions doesn't look like we have a island above our house into orbit you can only go down from here that's funny uh, but the cool thing about expert mode is you get the uh, shield of Cthulhu and if you are out using gravitation potions you can just tab and do your dash and it actually will speed you in one direction 
So we'll go out. Let's actually hit tab to update our map. There's our first harpies. Um, the one other way that you can actually go out and maybe find islands a little bit easier is if you buy a bunch of bullets and a gun and just run along the ground shooting upwards, you can sometimes hear the bullets hitting islands above you. So it makes for uh, an easy island locator. Looks like we're about where those giant trees are. Um, and it's possible that we're missing some islands in these big gaps, so we may go through and uh, do an opposite of what we did this time with our zigzag. Ooh, we found our first island. It looks like it's a uh, cloud lake for fishing. So that's nice because we do get those quests so we can actually use our potions in the future to come over here. Grab a quest fish and then uh, continue on. Let's see if we can find some more. I want to find. Um, ooh. I want to find an island with a house on it for some loot. Oh, there's an island. Might be another. Uh, oh no, we do. We do have an island with a house. This is actually a nice size one too. That's really nice because I was hoping to in the future maybe make a uh, farm on one of these islands. It doesn't look like we have a door on this one though so we have to be careful. Let's see what our loot is. Oh we got Star Fury. That's a decent weapon. Uh, let's kill the Harpy. We'll just loot all and grab the chest for now. Oh, geez. Uh, we instantly found another island. This is another sky lake. So, we actually have a couple really close to each other. That, that'll that be fun for building. But, let's go see if we can find some more loot. All right, we've hit the end of the world, so we are going to teleport home. And we're actually going to go whew, the other direction. Or at least start going the other direction. Look for islands on this side. You do have to be careful with these potions. Uh, for fall damage so if you can get yourself a horseshoe before doing this it's definitely recommended looks like we have another island with some loot here Ooh, and we can actually hide in this one that's nice uh, let's look we got another star fury <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know what star fury is um, well, I'll read it first. Causes stars to rain from the sky. Forged with the fury of heaven. So you can see we can actually send shooting stars at our enemies and hit things from inside cover if we want to. It's a nice weapon. Um, I can't remember. Can you? Yeah, you can combine it with other stuff um, to make different weapons in the future. Oh, we found another island already again. We are right next to the other one here, so... We have some potential for island building for civilizations. I don't know how much we can do building in the sky, but I'd like to. We just will run into the problem of uh, anything that we build in the sky will be susceptible to wyvern attacks once we hit hard mode. And uh, harpies will always be a problem. So maybe not for NPCs, but we could do it for farms. That would be pretty fun, I think. Oh, let's hit B for buff. I thought I saw a cloud that... Yeah, look at that. It looks like the uh, Eye of Cthulhu there. That's pretty funny. I've never seen that before. And loot. Oh. Three Star Furies. What luck. 
<laughs> uh, let's keep going. I think you can get wings, like the fledgling wings, maybe? Or whatever newbie pair that is. We've got another one. Loot! Oh, look at that. Yeah, fledgling wings. Uh, I'm gonna just put those in my inventory for now. We are not going to equip them yet. Uh, but we will. Let's keep looking for islands here. Alright, looks like we're coming to the end of the world. So we got some pretty... Uh, bad luck overall when it comes to islands here. Let's see. Or who knows? Maybe it's maybe it's the typical amount to have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six islands in a world. Could be. Um, but all in all, we did not get the loot that we wanted. We did get some good loot, but we may look on. Uh, any resource worlds we make to see if we can get a uh, balloon. Let's see, guarding fledgling wings. If we put that in the spot instead of our horseshoe, because I believe it cancels fall damage as well, let's see how high up these wings let us fly. That's not bad. I think it's kind of the same as uh, our boots, maybe, but if we go up. Can we use our boots then? Uh, not the not the rocket portion of them. I just noticed that our boots have warding on them too. That is amazing. Warding, guarding, warding, nothing, and wild. Um, tell you what, let's go over to this side. Can we? <laughs> I don't want to kick the zoologist out, but we might temporarily. Because uh, one of the NPCs that I really want in here is the Goblin Tinkerer that we found. Uh, well, I guess I guess you can stay because he's not going to show up unless we have a house for him. And she will probably just take this over as soon as I leave the screen again. So we will just have to make a new house and move her. Um, I do want to make a uh, ocean house for Jimmy, for our fisherman. So we'll be moving him as well. And then I want to get the mechanic in here uh, once we rescue her from the dungeon, I think. So we've got some work to do. So we've actually found another sky island here. If we open up our map... Uh, as you can see, I've been doing kind of the opposite of what we had done before to see if we could find any that were hidden in these caps here. Uh, and let's see what we get. Oh, and we got what we wanted. Arcane shiny red balloon. Oh, that's amazing. I was worried that we'd have to load up another world. So, we're going to take the chest. Uh, let's see, how much more do we have over here? Not much. Um, we can still go. Oh. Let me just. Escape. Out this way. How are we doing? 34 seconds of gravitation potion. Uh, so, now we can combine our balloon with our. I think it's. Uh, sandstorm in a bottle. And our horseshoe. If we have any left, I did sell some of the extras. Um, and we can get our really high jumping with the wings and everything. I love being able to combine items. Oh, we found another one. Let's see. This is probably going to be the last one. Oh, no, we've got some space up here. Um, what other loot do we have? I like this one, how it's all in space up here. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Star Fury again. That's okay. We'll just take uh, the chest here. And goodbye, harpies. 
Oh, dude, there's this island down here. How are we doing? We got one, two. Uh, okay, so we got two land style islands close to each other and up by space. That's like prime wyvern attack range, though. Okay, we have explored all of the uh, sky islands in our world, I think. Uh, as you can see, our map is a little ridiculous at the moment. Uh, we've used maybe six uh, or maybe only four of our gravitation potions. I'm not sure how many we had to start. But, as you can see, with all of our zigzag patterns, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sky islands in our world we did end up getting the balloon we wanted i've already combined it with our sandstorm in a bottle so we've got our armored sandstorm in a balloon i went and grabbed a horseshoe and we are going to make our yellow horseshoe balloon we get a jagged one so plus one percent damage uh let's see equipable can be worn in vanity slots so I guess we'll put that in a vanity slot for now. Let's see. Oh, actually, first, let's put it in a vanity slot so it doesn't do anything. Let's see how high up we go. Uh, actually, we can use this little bit of black space here on our map to kind of gauge the difference. Uh, and I think we'll leave this taller section for when we actually equip the balloon. Let's see how high up our wings take us without the balloon. Uh, so actually, I should put this here. We'll go up. Okay, so as you can see, this is how high we went, or at least the camera went, for our jump. So we probably ended up right about here. Let's try with the balloon. Uh -huh. I guess it doesn't really matter. We can go in the same spot. It's a little bit higher, not super much. I honestly don't know if that's even worth it to uh, to use if we have wings. Let's see, if we take this off... Okay, well, jump height is amazing, that's for sure. And for those who don't know what it looks like, this is what uh, the balloon looks like hovering around. So it's definitely worth it if you don't have wings. Let's see how we do... With those, not bad. I think that's barely different at all. Plus we take a little bit of damage. So all in all, great if you don't have wings, but I think wings are, are I think they're just better overall. So we did that searching kind of for nothing since we got the wings on top of the, the balloon, but um, at least we've kind of cleared out our islands. We've identified them all. We can maybe make some farms on some of them. And we'll definitely be doing stuff with them in the future. Uh, I honestly just can't wait until I get a flying mount. So I can clear out all these black dots. Uh, that's probably the thing that bugs me the most about the map. But, as I say, we'll get there later. I think that's all we have time for in today's episode. Um, we're gonna maybe get back to some building in the next one. I want to maybe make a building over here so that we can start building underground. I want to make something like a, a mine or a quarry or something. Because um, I think we will definitely reserve this flat space for an arena. But that will be next episode guys thank you for joining hit that like button if you are enjoying the content subscribe for more uh episodes and hit that notification bell to know when they are going to come out so uh i appreciate you guys watching see you guys next time Bye bye